Hello everyone, welcome to Spiritual Butterfly. Today I will be doing a reading for Virgo. So yes, Virgo, we will be doing your love reading. Remember that these messages are general. They will not resonate with everyone. Take what does, apply it, leave the rest. Also, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click the notification bell in order to receive notifications when I post. Also, personal readings are now open. So if you want a reading, you can look below in the description box. And let's get into it, Virgo. So let's see what's going on in your love life. So Spirit, what messages do you have for the sign of Virgo? What is going on in Virgo's love life? Messages for Virgo. Okay, I have Karmic Partner. Let's get some more messages. I have Home. I have passion and let's get one more. Okay. I have dreams in the reverse and I have attraction. Okay. So for some of you, you're in a karmic relationship. You could be married to this person. I heard infidelity, so there's definitely been um, some cheating, a third party situation. Um, I feel like with this dreams, you definitely found out about this, with this dreams being in the reverse. Um, you definitely found out about this person stepping out on you. Or the roles could be reversed, Virgo, this could be you. But there was definitely, I heard like adultery. So yeah, for some of you, this is a marriage and your significant other ended up being in a relationship with someone else. You have clarifying current partner. I have the 10 of cups in the reverse. So yes, for some of you, you may have already separated or walked away from this person. Let's get a message for home. Three of Swords. Yes, Virgo. You found out about a betrayal. Yes, you found out about a betrayal. Um, for some of you, you may have left a home with this person. You may have a family. You may have been together for a very long time. Um, yeah, I heard children together. But you found out this person was involved with someone else. Tell me more about this Three of Swords. I have the Two of Cups. This person could have left you to go be with someone else. This person left you for someone else. Tell me more about this Two of Cups. Yeah, I have the Four of Pentacles. Yeah, they're giving to another situation. They're giving to another relationship. I heard like turned their back on you. So yeah, this person definitely left to go start a life, to go build a life with another person. I have the Hermit, Virgo. This is your energy. I heard I'm all alone. You definitely feel betrayed by what has taken place when it comes to this relationship. And it's like you're just by yourself. Like you feel all alone. Um, I heard family and friends. You may have kind of pulled back from family, from friends. 
um i heard like i want to be by myself so you just want to be alone you want to be left alone you just want to deal with this situation you know in your own space i heard reflect you just want to take this time to really reflect on what has happened to reflect on the situation i'm looking at um her lifting up what is to believe or what i think is like some kind of picture or book um i heard like photo album i feel like you're reminiscing a lot about this relationship about the past you may even be looking at like pictures you know looking at a photo album of you and this person together So you're saying it's like grieving. So you're, you're definitely grieving over this relationship. And I just feel like you're really reminiscing about the past. I heard like reminiscing hard about the past. So yeah, you're definitely... Um, reliving memories with this person. Let's clarify passion, spirit. Yeah, and again, I heard photo album. So, yeah, someone is definitely looking at, like, a photo album, looking at pictures of when you and this person were together, how happy you were, or what appeared to be happy. I have the Nine of Wands, and I have the Sun, which is the best card in the deck. Um... I feel like this nine of wands energy is you, Virgo. I heard like happy with someone else. Let's clarify this nine of wands. It's like, I can't believe that you're happy with someone else. I can't believe you left me for someone else. I have the Knight of pentacles. Let's get another message. I have justice. I have the four of wands in the reverse and I have the world in the reverse. Yeah, for some of you, this is a divorce. I heard I'm coming for my check. So yeah, you're definitely going after with this nine of wands. Like I heard like relentless for some of you, like you are being like relentless when it comes to the, this divorce when it comes to child support alimony like you're not having it it's like no you're coming for all your money whatever is owed to you like i'm coming for my check yes and i feel like with the world i heard like stop moving forward i feel like for some of you um i get like a energy of being vindictive and trying to stop this person from moving forward with their life for moving forward when it comes to this new relationship so it's like hey you want to go be with someone else that's fine but i'm going to take you for everything that you have that's the energy that someone is in let's clarify this son I have the Page of Cups, I have the Ace of Pentacles, and I have the Star in the Reverse. Spirit says win the court case. If you're taking this person to court for child support, alimony, any type of money, monetary gain that you're trying to receive with this ace of pentacles i see you receiving it virgo i see things working out in your favor especially with this page of cups yeah and for some of you with this being a page of cups this has to do with child support i see you 
being awarded a very hefty sum. I feel like with the star in the reverse, this is this person. I feel like I heard life of luxury and dwindled. I feel like this person is definitely going to have to tone down their lifestyle because now they have to give to you. I heard like monthly. So yeah, now they have to pay you monthly child support alimony. So it's like this person has to tone down their lifestyle or their lifestyle is going to be negatively impacted because they now have to give to you. Now they have to pay the piper. Now they have to, you know, give you what's rightfully yours. But yeah, I see you being very happy with this situation when it comes to you receiving some type of payment, some type of payout, monthly payout from this person. And I just feel like with the star, it's like they're no longer going to be able to do what they used to do, live the lifestyle that they used to live, because now they have another obligation and that's you. Let's get a message for dreams. Yeah, now they have to give to you. I heard like awarded. So yeah, the courts are going to award you. A substantial amount spirit give me a message for dreams i have the page of wands in the reverse for some of you you may have been with this person since your youth let's get another message And I have the Hierophant. Yeah, for some of you, you've been with this person since your youth. And this is a divorce with this Hierophant in the reverse. Yeah, with his dreams in the reverse, it's like you didn't get fulfillment out of the situation. Like whatever you thought um, this relationship, this marriage was going to be, you thought you were going to, you know, be together, raise your children together, grow old together. It's like something came and completely tore apart you know wiped away that dream that fantasy you had of you and this person you know living happily ever after growing old together so yeah it's like now you just have to accept the situation for what it is i heard like reality yeah, now you have to deal with the reality of the situation and for some of you you've been with this person for a very long time since you're you let's get a message for attraction Yeah, I heard pay up. This person is going to have to pay. They are going to have to pay. I have the lovers. So, yeah, whoever this person is with, like, they feel like this is, like, a, a divine connection. Like, this is a soulmate connection. Let's spirit clarify the lovers. I have the eight of wands. I heard like move quickly. I feel like things progress very quickly when it comes to this connection. I also see like marriage and or proposal taking place. Spirit clarify the eight of wands. I have the five of swords, but there's going to be some type of conflict. There's a lot of conflict because of how this relationship came about. There's definitely, um, I heard like female, the other female. So there may be conflict between you and the person that they left you for. I have the empress. Spirit, tell me more about the empress. I have the seven of pentacles yeah 
there's a lot of conflict because you're looking at all of the time, effort, and energy that you put into this relationship, that you put into this marriage. And it's like, they're just going to up and leave you for someone else and, you know, want to be with this person, build with this person. So, yes, yeah, like with this five of swords, there's definitely going to be some issues when it comes to this situation. Yeah, I don't see you and this person getting along at all. Yeah, I heard like back and forth. There's going to be a lot of back and forth. Yeah, with this eight of wands. Yeah, there's definitely going to be a lot of back and forth. Yeah, whatever communication you may have with this other person that they left you for is not going to be positive. It's not going to be positive. Let's get another message. Spirit, tell me about this Seven of Pentacles. Yeah. I have the Eight of Swords and I have the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, because you put in so much energy and effort into this relationship to, you know, build this marriage with them, to build a life with them. And it's like everything that you built has fallen apart, Virgo, with this Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. And it's like now you feel stuck. Now you feel stuck, stuck in, you're stuck in your own mind, thinking about the woulda, coulda, shoulda's, what could you have done differently? It's like, yeah, you know, you may have the money, you may have been able to take this person to the cleaners financially, but I mean, I heard like their heart, like ultimately what you want is their heart. Ultimately what you want is your marriage back, your marriage back, your relationship back. And it's like you just feel stuck. It's like you feel like there's nothing you can do but just watch this person move on with someone else. I'm also getting younger. So for some of you, this person is um, much younger than your person. So let's pull some final messages. I have acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times we must accept things as they are. There is no point trying to change that which is beyond our control. Yes, Virgo. This is a beautiful, beautiful message to close out this reading. I'm going to read that again, Virgo. It says acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times we must accept things as they are. There is no point in trying to change that which is beyond our control. So yes, acceptance. And it's like with this eight of swords, it's just like you're having a hard time accepting it, which is okay. We all have to go through our phase of healing. But spirit is saying, you know, there is no point of thinking about the would have, could have, should have. Because ultimately, Virgo, the only person that you had control over in this situation is yourself. The only person you have control over in this life is yourself. You can't control another person regardless of if they're your child, your husband, your wife, significant other, your mom, your dad, your cousin, whoever, whatever role someone plays in your life, you can't control them. The only person you can control is yourself. So you don't have to feel stuck. You don't have to you know, overthink the situation. Know that you're not trapped. You're not trapped. You are free. You are free to live the life that you deserve, the life that you desire to live. It's beyond your control. You have no control over the situation. Sometimes when things fall apart, I'm not going to say sometimes, Virgo. I'm going to say all the time when things fall apart, whether it's a relationship, a job, friendship, family relationships, sometimes things fall apart so that better can come together. 
And even though you went through this difficult season or you may be experiencing this currently, know that things are falling right into place. Even though you may not see it, things are coming together for you in your life and you're going to be better off. And this ending only provided you an opportunity to have a new beginning. So Virgo, these are your messages. I hope they resonate. Remember to stay true to thyself and real with thyself. Grow with me as I grow with you. Everyone, stay blessed.